Hello you gorgeous donut. Today we're going to be reacting to the most insane creator that Britain has ever created. That man's name is Bevo. Yes, the Beeves. If you don't know who Bevo is, he basically became famous from swallowing roast potatoes without chewing them. Yes, I am being serious. He then blew up because of this and then went on this like mad rampage like doing nightclub appearances, telling everybody that he earns like £30,000 a month and then apparently he went broke but now he has made it all back and this has made him more insufferable than ever i'm trying to be relevant he's a melt mate i've made it already bro i'm living in my lovely apartment three o'clock in the morning just all of the cheeky mackers yeah got a free grand to be fair that's when you know it right that's when you know you've made it able to order a meal chicken after midnight <laughs> Okay, I'll just park my yacht over there, should I? Unbelievable scenes. I've got a three grand PC set up. I've got clothes that I don't even wear. I've got jewels in the safe I don't even wear. And you come on and hate about Bevo. I just don't get it. Listen, benefit yourself before you hate on someone else. I mean, facts, bro. I might get that tattooed on myself. Whoa, that's deep. Bevo got deep. He might be my favorite TikToker now. He's actually my comfort creator. He really is. Do you know, if you actually have money, I feel like you don't brag about stuff as much as what he does. Like, I feel like you wouldn't brag about how much your PC costs. Like, that's just such a weird flex. Yeah, I actually cool my PC with mineral water. Uh, strictly Volvic. None of that tap water sh I've done my graft. I've blown up. I've got my 1.4 million followers. I've got my two and a half grand dog. I've got a beautiful wife. <laughs> yes! Another flex. Me dog cost 2.4k. Love it! There's one rule of all millionaires, right? You pay over £2,000 for your dog. That's how it works. Why are you flexing how much you paid for your dog? They could have ripped you off. Like, how's that a flex that your dog cost that much? How about you adopt a dog? Adopting a dog? You can get one for free. Okay, that's more of a flex than paying 2.4k for it. I've got a lovely gaff. And I'm a melt. Enjoy sleeping in your mum's box room, mate. Because that's all you're going to be doing. Enjoy work tomorrow morning. Because that's all you're going to be doing. If you don't be nice to these sort of people like myself, you're never going to get nowhere in life. So just remember that. That's so true. Us, people who make videos, you've got to be extremely nice to us. Because we can end your life right now. I could do it. If I click this, right? Your daddy. Gone. Stay humble. Stay clear. Bevo's here. Bevo's there. Bevo's everywhere. You know the rules. And clearly now, Bevo is a millionaire and he's trying to now work out like alternative kind of content strands he can go down to keep rising his millions. And one of those is he's chosen to do public interviews. Now, this is like one of my least favourite genres of content. And I like Bevo, okay? I want them to do well, but I just don't believe this is the route for him. But girls, listen, is TikTok a real job? No. Why? No, it is, but I just don't do it. So. Why? I'm making 40 grand a month. Good for you. Yeah. What? What's? <laughs> Sorry. It's the little yeah that he does. I'm making forty k a month. Good for you. Yeah. Like she doesn't care. Why would you tell her? Like you've literally walked up to a random bar just to say that you earn forty k a month. Like okay, mate. Like I don't. I literally don't know you. Why? Why have you put a microphone in my face? I want to go to Primark. I want to get some underwear, and then I want to get off this street. Okay. What's stopping you from doing TikTok? Uh, I have my own business, so I don't really need to. Do you not promote your business on TikTok? No, not really. Why? What's stopping you? <laughs> it's successful as it is. So Fair enough. Has this guy got, like, some sort of discount code in his bio for TikTok? Has he got, like, a referral scheme with them? Why is he, like, obsessed with getting people to post TikToks? It's... <laughs> for what reason, bro? Is TikTok a real job? Um, I would think so, yeah. Because you, you do make a bit of bread on that, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, I know, yeah. Got, got, got the roly on and got the, the Mon Clizzy on and that, yeah. What? What? Is this... Is he just doing this? these videos just so he can go up to people in the street and flex? Within three sec seconds of, of speaking to these people, he's flexing on them. Yeah, you know, I've got to, got to watch. It's better than yours. got to coat. It's better than yours. Teeth, right? These teeth probably cost more than that entire outfit. He's just using it to flex on random people. What's stopping you from doing TikTok? Um, to be fair, mate, I do do, I do, do TikTok, you know what I mean? You but do? I'm just, I'm just not up there like you, man. Well, you know what, what I mean? What's your page? Shout him out and tell <sighs> the people. What's it? Page S-E-B-Z-J-U-S-T-N-U-T-T-E-D. Wait, what? Sorry, I can't spell. Like, that, to me, that you might as well have just been reading out a, a Wi-Fi password there. Why didn't you just say the name? That's, like, actually, th like... <laughs> Hold on a minute. I had the three musketeers. I want a quick question. 
Listen, no, what do you think of TikTok? Is it a job? Is TikTok a job? No, mate. Why? It's a joke. It's a joke. Yeah, I don't what, when, video, when I'm earning 20 grand a month? Oh my god, nobody cares. No one cares. Why are you telling people how much you win? When you don't like their answer, you go, yeah, well, I'm making this amount. <laughs> right? Sick green Moncler jacket. Is that real enough for you? Like, is he trying to get... I'm trying to work out what the, the idea is here. Is he trying to get, like, validation for, like, him doing TikTok off random people? Like, is he make, trying to make himself feel better about... I have no idea what the what the goal is here. Which kind of makes it amazing. When I'm earning 20 grand a month. I don't want to be on video. I respect it. Have a good one. That's why I never make money. So he literally said, I don't want to be on video. So then you went home, edited it, and still included it. He didn't even talk to the camera. And that's the first video. That's the video that's hooking people in. Excuse me, quick one, guys. Is TikTok a real job? Uh, no. No? no. Why? 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 It, what? So me only 20 grand a month? Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah Jesus. Every single person in this city is going to know that Bevo makes 20k a month. Also, was didn't in the first video, didn't he say 40k? So what, have you just like... Went from 40k to 20k, like, overnight? Like, what's going on? That was a terrible month. He's literally halved his profits in the space of an hour. What has happened to Beefo? Fell off. That's one of my favourite things about the donuts, right? There's, like, a couple of people that, after we upload a video, like, 13 seconds after we upload the video, it'll be, like, three views, fell off. <laughs> Look at this idiot thinking people want to watch him. <laughs> to the people that do that, thank you. Right, you're the real donuts. I appreciate it. Humbleness. Who says YouTube isn't a real job? I don't care about these people on the street. So me only twenty grand a month. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a real job. Be a doctor. A doctor. Your life on your phone. I'm making money, bro. Like you yeah, are. I have a good one. <laughs> He's hating. <laughs> he literally just said, "Why don't you get like a like a like an, a, a a respected profession?" Which is arguably like for the content he's doing now. That's arguably a good point, bro. Just just give it up. Just just just. Just go and get something respectable where you're not harassing people. In no world does anybody, when they're walking down the street, want somebody to follow them like this. Hey, do you know I earn 20 grand a month, do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Me. I earn, hey, come back here. Come back. Nobody wants that. Hey, cute couple, quickly. Is TikTok a real job? Uh, sure. No. Why? Why no? Talk to me. Why? Why no? He's going to mention it. Why? He's going to mention Why it. Back your point. Go quickly, quick. Why is it not a real job? It's not. Why? Gonna... I make just as much or more than a normal job, so why oh is it not a real job? Oh my god, man, again. Why is he gonna tell everyone? You've asked the question, they've said no, and he just can't take it. This is actually, I actually rate it though. Like the persistence. He's not getting anything out of this. I don't know what this is as content. Oh my lord, it's brilliant. I love that he gets it to the one minute mark as well. Like, this one is exactly a minute. It's just no bullshit. Like, he's clearly just here for the money. He's here for the bag. He doesn't care about the quality of it. That's it. No, I'll leave you be. Thank you. Like, no, I'm sure with public interviews, they're meant to, like, stop and talk to you. Not one person stopped and, and, and spoke to Bevo. And also, they're the best bits. They're the ones he decided to edit up and make into a video. Can you imagine the ones he didn't? All right, boys, quickly. What do we think of TikTok? Nah. You don't think of TikTok? <laughs> nah, all good, bro. Have a good one. That's not an outtake. I'll take something to be f funny. <laughs> to be fair, I guess it is. It's meant to be like you being funny, like you messing up. That's just someone straight up ignoring you. They're like, nah, nah, mate, not for me. Like at this point, this has got to be. It's, it's like it's got to be an FBL forfeit. It's got to be like some sort of humiliation ritual, you know. Somebody's just got him by the bollocks. They've got like I don't know, he's nudes on the on the phone or some something. Bevo, please, in your next video, blink twice. I will come and help you, fella. Cheers! Oh, I hate this. I hate this. Dead. I hate this. Oh. Uh, that was a bit dead, wasn't it? Oh my god, you took your face! Oh no, I can't. This is uh this is painful. This is this is bad. This is bad. You know when he when he was pretending to be broke, that's where I was like, well. At least it can't get any worse than this. Well, I was proven wrong, wasn't I? That's great. Bevo, why don't you come on the channel, fella? We can do some reaction videos together. Get you on YouTube. You don't need to do this life. What is this? This can't be making you happy. Surely this can't be making you happy. If I did this, I feel like my girlfriend would get the year. I think, like, if I uploaded this video, she would watch that and go, Oh, my, uh, I'm just gonna... 
that's that's the end of me and you i can i can't do this see you later son just quickly guys if you haven't already make sure you press the subscribe button so you can join the donut family you'll have loads of videos to binge watch when you're bored so just press subscribe so clearly you know public interviews might not be for bevo that might just not be his thing so he's trying to find kind of avenues where he can make his money on tiktok in different kind of ways so he started doing tiktok shop I wish I was Jorgen. Listen, boys, you can't be slacking with yellow teeth. Make sure to get the professional leveling whitening pen. You know the rules. Look, look at my teeth. Pure white from using this. You can't go wrong. Just straight apply it to your teeth. And bosh, you've got white teeth. You know the rules. Get it down below. Link in bio. Bro didn't even, like, put it on his teeth. He was like, that's going nowhere near my teeth. I'm just trying to get the bag here. I just caught... If you're making 40k a month, you know people make a lot of money on TikTok shop, but... When you're like turning to TikTok shop as a creator, I feel like you can't be making 40k a month because you just wouldn't do that. Like it's not worth it because you're already making so much money doing what you're doing. Hey, right, listen, boys out there, you know the rules. Listen, we all want to be nicely groomed for the missus, yeah. My missus is out. I've had a nice shave. I should have done it for the camera on TikTok, but this is in TikTok shop. This is the best shave you're ever going to get, yeah. It's sick. You get all the heads with it. You get to shave up. Even going over, like your little patchy bits. Look like you can hear it going. I mean, you can hear it going. It does sound like a razor. So if I was, you know, uh, I don't know, closing my eyes whilst I'm shaving, at least I can still know it's a razor going. Who am I kidding? You know I don't shave. I've been trying to grow this for five years. Still nothing. Thanks, mum and dad, for the genetics. I'm doing this left-handed. Even for your sideburns as well. Touch up the sideburn. Oh, sh What? It's one of those razors that does your beard and your sideburns. Oh, bro, technology is coming on so far. This is so good. Get your razor right now. Best deals ever. Jeez. All right, listen, boys out there, you know the rules. Listen, we all want to be nicely groomed for the miss. Oh, my God, this is hilarious. He's posted the TikTok, like, back to back. Just the same video so we can get it over the a minute mark so we can make money on the video. One thing I actually respect about Bevo is this man just gives, like, the lowest amount of about the quality of his stuff. He is like, how can I just put the minimal amount of effort in and get the max money? He's also, um, he has another way that he's trying to make his money back. Uh, Bebo, why have you got your hand in my tomorrow? I'm trying to, I'm trying to pay for my lifestyle. Everything gone wrong, but everyone thinks I'm skint, so. We've got a pound of coin, we're eating good tonight, Jeez. Well. That's where I've got to draw the line, sorry, Bevo. Right, that's someone's wish that you've ruined. Thank you, that's not going to come true now. Stacey's not getting a Polly Pocket car for Christmas. Well done, Bevo. This man is so obsessed with other people saying that he doesn't have money. But I've never seen anyone say, oh yeah, Bevo doesn't earn money. Like, I've seen people say Bevo's fell off and, like, everyone gets them comments. But I've never heard somebody say Bevo's poor. But he's obsessed with the fact that people are. Which just makes me think that he probably doesn't have as much money as he's telling you. All right, a quick one, TikTok, yeah. Big up getting at Bevo on Cameo. You know the rules. This is, if you want a Cameo, get over to my link in my bio. Birthday shout out, bros. You know the rules. Dinner reviews, whatever you want me to review or whatever you want video wise, is over there. Get over there. I'm going to be active all day today and tonight getting these done. So big up everyone. Big up Cameo for getting it at Bevo. And I'll see you soon. Well, if you know anyone that you want to have a severely underwhelming birthday present out there, you know what to do now, guys. Thank me later. Sephora necklace. Nah, Bevo cameo, thank you very much. So as you can see, Bevo is trying to, like, diversify his income stream, okay? Trying to get them 10 income streams, become that millionaire. And another way that he's trying to do this is pursuing a career as a rapper. The first thing that I think when I look at Bevo, I'm like, wow, that man... Has a few bars in them. That man is a driller. All right, this is Shabivo. Bring back the singing. Let's get that fan off. Little freestyle thing, isn't it? Come on. I don't know what to do no more on TikTok. I'm bored. Here we go. <laughs> Didn't understand the love I was gonna live. Bevo in the scene, going everywhere, trying to fly away. Got my missus in a private jet. Look at me, look at Bev, look at you. One, two, three, G. Every night and day, I used to. I can't do this, sorry. No. This is great though, this is. I, if I was on the X Factor, he'd be going straight to judges' houses. Thank you very much. You're coming to Ireland with me, son. Don't you worry about that. Couldn't be the same as me. What are you doing, one, two, three? Look at me and look at you, I've got the Jeez. That is balls. There's a new rapper in town and his name's 
Beavis. Lucky for us, he's actually done a part two. So, strap up, guys, because I know I'm not the only one that's feeling a little bit right now. All right, this is Bevo part two. Get on a drill beat. Let's get this freestyle going. Bevo in the booth. Yo, listen. Bro, how have we got Bevo on drill before GTA 6? How can this be possible? Bally on my head. Look at your head. Going down the road. Skip, put, put the dead. Yo, listen. 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 I'm listening. Yo, listen. Yo. Cavi Island is my op lock. Never see you on my op lock. Bebo in the booth. Couldn't see your mum poof, yo. Oh! I get it. Couldn't see your mum poof because he fked that job. Like, this guy's content is so diverse. He's rapping on drill. He's, like, singing on hip hop beats. He's interviewing people in the street, telling them that he earns £40,000 a month. Is there anything this man can't do? Oh no, he's done another one. No. 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 Yo. Bevo with the belly on, couldn't catch it. Bevo with the belly on? We got M24 from the beats. Coming in. Yo, 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 yo. Why is Bevo so hated? He never knew he could be hated. Everyone dissing me, I didn't know how to cancel free. Yo, trying to make the P. Everyone dissing on me. Stack your shelves in Sainsbury's. I never thought I'd be me. If you work at Sainsbury's, that's you sorted out. Bet you wish you didn't say anything now. He's made you look like a right mug. Unlucky. Now, obviously, one day we're going to see Bevo win a Grammy, right? That's like, obviously, that's just going to happen. But he has also been winning other awards, such as the best dressed man in Liverpool Airport. <laughs> Bro, when I grow up, I just want to be Bevo. Like, I want to be sitting in Liverpool Airport with a chain that is me own name in diamond encrusted with me collar up looking like a Burberry Harry Hill. Is there anything better? Is there anything else men want in this world to look like a Burberry Harry Hill? There's not. I mean, what competition has he really got? Like, there's there's a there's a woman here with her hood up, and then there's just a guy with a black t-shirt on. So I don't know if the the other contestants were really that you know up for it. Also, when I go to the airport, I don't dress my best. I just dress in whatever is comfy. I normally just dress in shorts, so everything can kind of just breathe. Now, one thing that I did think was really interesting was Isaac HP has this series where he kind of does a documentary with different creators, mostly TikTokers, and he did one with Bevo, and it was like a full feature film kind of thing where he kind of just has a day in the life of Bevo like learns about his girlfriend learns about like how Bevo like goes about his days and it was really interesting to kind of see like if this was a character or if Bevo genuinely is just kind of a Oh, an, an odd, an odd blow. Now I just want to highlight a couple of moments in this documentary. Like there were some mental ones. Like for instance, in the first kind of period of them speaking, Bevo and Isaac get like harassed by these kids. Do what I want to do. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? <laughs> huh? That's mental. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks, sir. <laughs> My phone's off. Yeah. Okay. Cheers, sir. <laughs> Little. <laughs> that is. <f> <laughs> so we're getting terrorised here. Why? Why? Bro, they've just been like absolutely drenched in water off these absolute hooligans. The streets of where is this Brighton or something? They're not safe. Kids these days, what are you up to? Spraying famous influencers like Bevo with water? Have you not got manners? He told you we've got to be nice to these people. They can ruin our lives. There's like another part where he's doing a club appearance where he's rapping Funky Friday by Dave for some reason. And someone just hides a bottle off him. Bro, like, people are booing and people are throwing water bottles off him. It's at this point, I, I kind of do feel a little bit sorry for him, but then also he's kind of bringing this upon himself just by the type of content that he posts. Like, yeah, it's getting views, but obviously that's going to come with, like, a negative kind of reception. It's like people aren't watching you because they... They like you, which sounds kind of harsh, but they're watching it because they want to see kind of what you do next. Like, imagine every single time 
you see people in public who are on TikTok, they're spraying you with water, hogging bottles off you, swearing at you. Like, that can't be a nice life to live. There's also another interesting part, which, again, feeds into the reason why Bevo probably receives a lot more hate than the average creator. He sits down with Isaac and he basically tells him that everything he does on TikTok is all staged and fake and nothing is real. I'm currently going with the storyline of being broke. Um, Do you feel like going... I think it? going broke and then basically... I'm trying to work with other companies on yeah. like basically renting cars, getting watches. So I'm going to go broke to getting back with Sophia and then basically having... So you faked a breakup with Sophia? Going to. You're going we to. Haven't to. We haven't yet, but we're going to. She's going to behind the scenes. So. But then you've just told us. Like, so now when you do it, it's not going to hit because we all know it's fake. Like, I don't get what the play is here. Like, why have you... Imagine you're watching, I don't know, like, Breaking Bad. And then they just tell you what they're gonna do before it actually happens. It would just be you'd be like, well, I knew this was cut. Like, it, it just breaks everything. I can't believe I've just compared Bevo to Breaking Bad. That is one of the worst things I've ever done. Vince Gilligan is going to come to my house and stab me in the throat with a Petri dish. Surely telling people that, do you think people are gonna get fed up and be like, oh, he's constantly making stuff up to I'm get not, reactions? I won't do this again. This is the last time I'm gonna do this storyline, so I don't care, really. Okay. Um, so yeah, she's gonna go, she's got a yacht shoot in Marbella on Tuesday. Yeah. She's coming back Friday, so I'm gonna make out she's left me. She's gone Marbella. Well, she's, she's left you for it. She's going out there partying and uh, all that. So yeah, it's a good storyline. It works, it intertween. I don't think that is a good story. Uh, I think we should cut that. Right, let's cut that one. Leave it in the draft. That should have stayed unpublished. Like, how do you even pitch that to your girlfriend, by the way? Like, this is your actual girlfriend, not just like, I don't know, like a, like a paid actor. By the way, love, right, I've got this sick idea, right? Like, you know when you're in Marbella? I think we should just pretend that you're shagging other people behind me back. Like, <laughs> oh my God, that's gonna hit so well. People are gonna love us. Like, no, it's just cringe. Like, what are you doing? You, you, you're like, it's, it is because you're lying to your audience about things. But people love drama. It's like EastEnders. EastEnders ain't real. This is nothing like EastEnders. You're telling us what's going to happen. They don't do that in EastEnders. Also, the storylines in EastEnders are a lot more layered than this. I can't remember that episode of EastEnders where someone goes to Marbella and pretends to cheat on Bevo. That would be sh Nobody would watch that. Like, is, I feel like you, you put stuff out there and you deliberately want people to hate you back. It's, yeah, because with TikTok, it's very, you need to trigger people, you need to get people chatting about something, and you have to see the comments, you have to see what they chat about to uh, play on it. See, again, Isaac is very much in the boat that I'm in, where I'm like, why are you doing this? Like, you don't need to do this. Like, for some reason, Bevo says this a lot, that the only way to grow is to trigger people and kind of make people feel negative about you, when he's literally sitting next to Isaac, who doesn't do any of those things. He just has his own thing in his own lane, isn't bothering anyone. You're literally next to somebody that has done it, that has been successful from not doing any of the things that you're mentioning. Oh, everyone goes, Bevo, why are you not uploading no more on TikTok? Why are you not doing this? Why are you not doing in that yeah listen social media is a joke i don't even like my job anymore i'll be honest i'm a tiktoker and that yeah fair play i earn money fair play and that but the hate i get the hate sophia gets it's just dreadful why can't people be happy for one another and why ain't people happy of other people's success as well see i'm with them on the boat if i just saw that tiktok by itself i'd be like yeah like he probably does get a lot of unneeded hate but when you're coming out with stuff like saying i want people to hate me and then they end up hating you you can't be then angry you can't then like play the victim at that point because this is exactly what you wanted you've got the money you've got the fame from it now you have to deal with the other stuff because that's what comes with it i don't know i just <sighs> That's probably a bit of a harsh perspective, but for instance, like someone like me, when I've like been doing this for like years, like seven years, building up like a, a, an audience and everything like that, and then someone gets it in like a year really fast because they've made people hate you, it's like that comes with like its own territory. If you're gonna do it the short way, you're gonna have a lot of sh with it. That's just how it works. Because I don't doubt that, like, underneath all of this, Bevo's probably sound. He's probably, like, a nice guy. Like, if you were chilling with him, you probably could get on with him. But for some reason, he just seems quite insecure about how much money he makes, how many views he has. Like, he needs everybody to, to know who he is. It's kind of a weird thing that is just gonna keep making him get more and more and more hate. Anyway, if you would like to see me react to another British TikToker who is arguably worse than Bevo, I'll let you be the decider of that click this video right now because the stuff in this video will shock you Cam Kirkham baby